what do we think of we as Canadians of, to identify? We think of the, the maple tree. If not the maple tree, the maple leaf, the maple syrup. Uh, it's just so part of our whole heritage. I'm Ken Jewett. I'm the founder of Maple Leafs Forever. I was born in Toronto, Ontario. Lived in Toronto all my life until I got a place in the country. Maple Leafs Forever believed that the maple tree was endangered because so many cultivars and invasive trees are being planted. Our native maples were disappearing from the landscape of rural Ontario. I saw this happening and made a pledge to try to stop this. In the late 19th century, farmers planted roadsides and laneways with maples dug from their woodlots in return for government incentive. This gave rise to a legacy of lines of maples and other hardwoods bordering rural roads and dividing farm fields. Many of these trees have died. We're working on replacing them with native Canadian maples. Canada has been good to me and my family. As a thank you, I want to reintroduce and restore the native Canadian maple tree to its rightful place on Canada's rural landscape. The maple leaf is Canada's national and arboreal symbol. As such, we should encourage the planting of native maples in this country as a symbol of national pride and identity. Seven years ago, we went down to inquire what was happening in the city of Ottawa. The National Capital Commission, by their own admission, probably hadn't planted any native maples in the last 20 years. They're planting invasive trees and trees they've imported from Oregon. So we said, don't you feel badly about that? And yeah, we do. You think it would be just natural. Uh, it's our arbor emblem. It's like motherhood. Why couldn't they make the commitment that a maple tree is going to be planted in our nation's capital to be a native Canadian maple tree? Well, for seven years, we worked on it with no success. Place a half-page ad. The Ottawa citizen addressed it to the Governor General, the head of the National Capital Commission, the Mayor of Ottawa, Mayor of Gatineau, pleading with them to adopt our resolution. And bingo, out of that, Dr. Mark Chris Manson said the National Capital Commission would do that. And for us, that was a huge step forward because we had come on Ottawa, playing a leadership role in Canada for the rest of Canada, and the fact they were taking that stand was terrific. The National Capital Commission will plant only a native Canadian maple whenever a maple tree is called for. We thank Dr. Chris Manson for his understanding and support. Hi, I'm Carl Mansfield, and I work with Ken Jewett and Maple Leafs Forever. And uh, together, uh, we have helped people plant a lot of maple trees in, in Southern Ontario. Part of our function is to provide people with uh, answers to their questions and uh, give them options as to where to go to buy truly native trees like that. We encourage people to uh, uh, find growers who do have native maples and to uh, plant them wherever the native maple is a good choice for planting them. My name is Rob Keane. I'm CEO of Forest Ontario and director of Maple Leafs Forever. And we're very proud to be a partner with Maple Leafs Forever and to provide our support where we can to further their mission of planting native trees and specifically native maple trees. Maple Leafs Forever shares a common vision with Forest Ontario, and that certainly is the use of native trees uh, for our restoration programs. And certainly that aligns perfectly with Maple Leafs Forever's long-term vision. And so anytime we can get like-minded uh, organizations working together, it just builds the collaboration and builds the overall impact of the vision. A rural landowner who wants to plant native maples along their roadside or laneway goes to our website. He makes an application to a nursery, goes and buys the trees from the nursery, sends us his invoice, then we send them a check for 25% of the cost of the trees. That money comes from me. To date, we've put $2 million into this program. We're not wild-eyed flag waivers. We're, we're serious about this. Our website lists many nurseries that stock native Canadian maples and Carl Mansfield, our Maple Leaf Harvest Tree Man, recognizes these nurseries as growers of native Canadian maples. Maple Leafs Forever encourages rural landowners and municipalities to continue to plant native 
maples, or the sugar maple and native maples being the, some of the primary species in the woodlot, they make up a significant component of that. It's really, really important that we promote and use native trees in our activities and certainly our forest and tree planting activities. Uh, a lot of, uh, there's some organizations that are gonna promote uh, invasives and non-natives in their activities. And certainly if those uh, species get into the natural ecosystem, they're gonna have an impact on the natural species that are there. Huge domino effect to the flora and fauna as well. So, you know, the work that Maple Leafs Forever does in promoting native trees, and specifically native maple trees, is really, really important to ensuring the health and long-term health of our forests here in Ontario. People interested in planting native Canadian maples should go to our website, mapleleafsforever.com, to get information on how to apply for a 25% rebate after the purchase of their trees. Maple Leafs Forever is an ardent supporter of the Ontario Enviathon. Our youth, their education is our future. We're also a founding member of the Highway of Heroes Living Tribute and applaud the living legacy that will be created honoring Canada's fallen war heroes. This is Maple Leafs Forever's modest 2017 birthday present to Canada. We encourage all Canadians to plant a native Canadian maple to help Canada celebrate its 150th birthday.